So before we get to how I lost 20,000 Cardano, uh, this is just a quick follow-up to a story we did a couple days ago about gold being put into Bitcoin. Uh, this was a quick um, interview from, it was Raul Powell to MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor. And in here, Raul, we already know that he's actually taken all his gold and put it into Bitcoin, which is a pretty ballsy move, honestly. I don't think he should have done that. I'm not going to do that. I still have gold. I still have silver. And I still have Bitcoin. I just have a lot more Bitcoin than I do gold and silver because there's just more upside potential. But um, what you're going to hear here is people have all have told me that, no, 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 nobody is getting rid of their gold bullion. They're not taking out their, their uh, safes. They're not melting it down. They're not physically bringing it in. And uh, I'm here to tell you, here's a couple of points where that's not true. People are actually doing that. So just take a listen. $250 trillion <laughs> worth of stuff. This is not about gold, right? Gold, fixed income, sovereign debt, cash equivalents. Every other treasury asset's got a negative real yield. What am I going to buy with it? No, there's no other asset to buy with it. And that's why I got into the irresponsibly long thing. In the end, I just looked at everything and said, right, fine. You can trade around, do stuff. But if it's anything you actually want to put a real position in for an extended period of time, that there is only one thing I can really see. You know, I've, I've got gold in a storage vault, and I'm like... I've got gold in a storage vault. So if he had gold in a storage vault, and he got rid of all his gold, even if he did have ETFs, he still had to sell his physical gold. That's, that's all I'm saying. So there's that. And it's a pretty great interview, but it's long. It's like two hours. But uh, in one of those, Michael talks about uh, how he just doesn't doesn't respect traders. He goes, why would you trade this asset? It is so valuable. He goes, it's going to shake up the whole world. It's going to control everything. He goes, you don't want to sell any of this. He goes, you can take a loan out on it. He goes, but uh, don't sell any of it because it's, you know, the things you're selling it for are worthless. And I thought that was a pretty good point. So there's this piece here. And then and a subscriber, Brian, had actually sent that to me and he timestamped everything. So thank you, Brian. I really appreciate it. I got to tell you, I've got a lot of smart, uh, really dedicated subscribers. So I thank you for watching right now and for, for you commenting and, and for you sending me stuff. I appreciate it. But Brian says, hey, uh, on top of what he sent me, he goes, a lot of people are definitely selling physical gold and silver and rolling those dollars into Bitcoin. I'm one of them. Uh, I've sold off 7,000 ounces of physical silver over the last three months. Sell order emails attached, sure, and reallocated those funds to Bitcoin. My friends have made the same move with their physical gold and silver holdings. People are underestimating the outflows from metals to Bitcoin cryptos, just another legacy sector, denying obvious changes coming. So really, I'm just going to say like this. Um, I would think that if you saw the upside potential for Bitcoin, you'd be like, wow, well, gold can't go up 10x, but Bitcoin can. And also Ethereum can go up, you know, 20, 30 X and also V chain can go up hundred, whatever it is, right? You might want to say, I'm going to, you know, decrease my position in gold and then go this other way. Is, is gold bad? No, I own gold. I own silver. And it's like the ultimate hedge. It's been around for thousands of years. So I think if you're looking to, you know, really hedge your bet, then, you know, get into all three. I always say that the new savings account is gold, silver, Bitcoin. I know gold bugs who have come on the channel, they <laughs> they hate my channel because I'm always talking about cryptocurrencies, but I don't really tell them the whole story. And that is that there is still a place for gold. Uh, there is. It's not going to go away. It's been around for thousands of years. It'll, be still, it'll still be around when I'm gone. And um, I still think there's a place for it. However, uh, if it's all about what you want to do with it. And I think if you're looking for those asymmetrical returns, uh, you have to take a, a hard look at Bitcoin and get into it. Um, I just don't see any other way around it. But let me know what you think in the comment section and uh, let's uh, move on.